Hello all. I wanted to share with you two core things uh, this afternoon. First was just looking at FreshGrade um, as an assessment and portfolio tool, and then looking at our uh, new report card template that I'm uh, exploring and using within our school. So first, um, I'm really enjoying using FreshGrade. Uh, I've so far used the Quick Capture tool quite often. Whenever students are working as groups, I can sort of hover over the desk, take a picture of it very quickly, upload it, make note of it to be able to show parents what's happening in the classroom and what those students are doing and the types of work that they're actually working on. Uh, and most importantly is I'm not actually assessing it. I'm recording it and it's in their portfolio, uh, but I'm not actually doing the assessment. Parents will actually get to see things in process and as things develop over time with that. So in terms of the tool itself, it is just a tool. I do think it's hugely powerful um, and can allow for powerful assessment. I started doing recording for oral fluency. I'm just about to start another where I'll do a reading with the students and the students will be able to compare their own reading uh, of passages and how they've grown over time. And most of, many of my students, the last time I did this, were reading staccato or one word at a time or two words at a time. And I'm realizing that their comprehension was just not there and hearing them read specifically with that passage and recording it, I'm able to identify that and showcase it and encourage parents to read out loud to their students and or to their children and have the children read more. And the better that fluency grows, the rest of their fluency will come with it. Uh, taking pictures of their art as they're progressing and developing it to be able to comment on it. It was really great with the selfie video that I produced with the kids. They did five different selfie photos over time. We learned some different skills. Then they just dropped them into iMovie and did a simple voiceover explaining what they learned as they did the process. Here's my first drawing. I think I did a pretty good job for my first draft. So here's my second drawing I did with a picture of me and I think I did a better job but it wasn't the thing I was looking for. Here's my eye and I think I did a pretty good job with my eye. I improved a lot. And I, yeah. Here's my mouth and I also improved a lot with my mouth and I really helped with the final project. My nose already knew how to draw a nose, and I, yeah. This is my final product, and I did a pretty good job with it, I think so. I think all my drawings resemble my face, and this is my face right here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And explaining their thinking. Uh, I offered them three choices to explain their thinking for the Underground to Canada unit we did, and many of them chose to do a diorama. And it was really funny because at first they didn't know what the word diorama was, even though they knew how to make shoebox things. They figured that out. Uh, but when I was going to market, I realized I couldn't mark them when they left them there. I needed them to tell me what it was about because they don't have the artistic skills to make a lot of the things they want to show to show their learning. Uh, we were looking at with slavery. Um, they wanted to have the wagon with hidden compartments in it. They wanted to have uh, the Mayflower boat and doing those different things. They don't have the ability to make them, but they were able to make approximations of it and they recorded their voice telling me what they were. I'm really glad to have the tool. Um, I've used it now and realized that I'm also connecting, working with my the new report card template that we're using in Surrey. And our school has basically two templates, a primary template and an intermediate template. And we've done some customization um, within that. And it reports on the literacy and the numeracy and personal and social learning within that. Uh, it's great to be able to report on the bigger picture things, uh, but I'm finding it's actually quite hard to report uh, because we're looking at trying to identify things that are actually year-long goals. And I realized most of what I put in for students is um, developing or not yet meeting. And some students are struggling with actually completing work uh, to demonstrate their learning and they're not able to demonstrate or share and so that's part of the communication skill that's not there in dealing with it and it's actually it sort of was an aha for me that most students should not be meeting expectations in the big ideas at this point in the year ideally by the end of grade six they'd be meeting or exceeding expectations I do wonder um, if we need a place uh, for valuing or um, assessing in most areas. Uh, I think I would rather give parents a two-page letter saying, here's what we did in the classroom. Here's all the kinds of projects, the learning opportunities they're exposed to, the opportunities from that, and then have the students pick one or two things to say, here's something that shows my strengths, and here's something that shows areas that I'm trying to grow in or work on. 
and that would be much more valuable to have that. One of the neat things that I've done in this is I did ask questions some students or some students those questions specifically and I set it up in a Google form so that they were able to complete it online and then I was able to import them to my Excel spreadsheet which I mail merged and their exact words are included on in the report card and I've eliminated their written output issues uh, in doing so. So we're going to see soon how the parents respond to all of this. Um, I've spent extensive time developing, fine-tuning the template, how it fits, uh, picking the big ideas that could be ones that will flow through the entire year and that I can look at things for uh, development over time. I've made sure that there's a piece of evidence or an artifact or something that I can speak specifically to for why I've chosen to say they're not yet meeting or um, that they're developing. I've also chosen to not assess certain areas. I didn't put anything assessed for science. We've learned a lot with science, but I have nothing to say this piece of science or this work for science actually says I understand what's happening here with the child and that they are building or moving in the direction of this. We've incorporated it, but with an integrated method that I'm using, it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. And for this term, I put not assessed for several areas. Combining fresh grade and the new report card template, um, parents are going to find out within the week exactly how that looks, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but I do think that in the end, I would rather just write a letter saying, here's everything we did, and two or three times a year, have them do the comments on top of them seeing the regular information from FreshGrade. Uh, so that instead of doing a six-page report, um, which I just completed for all the students, that I would just do a two-page letter that's the same for everybody, and then identify a couple of areas of strengths that I identify and the students identify, and maybe even include a photo, and that the students do the same for that. Well, we'll see how it goes, and I'll let you know. Thanks.